Have you ever come across something so profoundly insane you just had to pause to bask in the insanity? I give you this glorious comment from Facebook about the rings of power. Quote, I liked it. Really don't give a fuck what's canon or not. Just give me more Tolkien universe, please. Yeah, no more Tolkien for you. I saw this in a tweet from European Lore, and I just had to comment on it because it's so ludicrous. I've heard this line from a lot of so-called fans about adaptations of shows, books, and films. Someone will claim to be a huge fan of something, but when it gets adapted, they suddenly don't care about canon, the very core of the thing that's going to be adapted. I don't understand how that works. Tolkien's universe came from Tolkien himself. The stories were his creation. They came from his mind. He and he alone is the architect of that world. If you want more Tolkien stuff, you have to go to the source. Unfortunately, he died 50 years ago. There will be no new Tolkien stories. If you want more of his work, there might still be some notes and variations on stories that haven't been published, but you won't ever get anything new. Anything new that you see is nothing but fan fiction. You aren't getting more of Tolkien's universe. You're getting someone else's take on his universe. I don't understand how you could claim you like the man's work, but not care when someone else comes in and treats it like a sandbox. What made the stories interesting was Tolkien's perspective. Once you lose that, what's the point? And I'm not being a Tolkien purist here because I have this attitude about any artist's work. I'm not a fan of people coming in and publishing a musician's work after they've died, unless the people who are doing it were heavily involved in the album, and the album was mostly done. Otherwise, you're not getting the musician's actually intended songs, but someone else's interpretation of them. They might be good, even great, but they probably weren't what the musician envisioned. We're here for that vision, for that musician's unique take on those concepts. The moment someone else comes in and finishes the album, you lose that. However, with shows like The Rings of Power, it's worse because you have people who think they know better than the original creator. They're not just adapting the work, but changing it to become their work, their vision, and they're just using the creator's name to sell it. All those posthumous Tupac albums come to mind. Whatever he might have intended got lost with every producer having to go at tweaking his unfinished songs. If you're a fan of someone's work, why wouldn't you care that the new stuff you're getting has little to nothing to do with that person? At that point, you aren't a fan. You're just a consumer. You just want the thing, even if the thing isn't even the thing anymore. The most intriguing part about the Middle Earth stories is that they came from one man's imagination. If you're adapting his works, you should try to retain that vision. This is true with every adaptation. Obviously, you can't do perfect one-for-one -one adaptations of every work. Certain things that work on a page just don't work on screen but throwing out canon completely undermines the point of adapting the works. But there seem to be people who love doing that. They seem to like the idea of completely changing the story when something gets adapted. And sometimes they'll even cop an attitude if the adaptation sticks too close to the source material. I saw this happen with The Last of Us adaptation, where some people got pissy about the show basically following the game. Yeah, that was the point of adapting it. The game plays like a movie, why would you change that? The show fleshed out certain parts that covered areas in the game where it was just gameplay. But other than that, the show was a game brought to life, in most cases, shot for shot. Complaining about that makes no sense to me because the draw for the show is seeing those events brought to life. A similar thing happened with the Scott Pilgrim show, where it inverted the story and made it follow Ramona instead of Scott. Now, I'm not a fan of the series. I'm vaguely familiar with the comic and I haven't watched the film or the show. I have no skin in the game but I did see people's negative reaction to the Switch and the strange defense of the Switch, which boiled down to, if you don't like it, you must hate women. Or maybe they'd like to see the comic adapted as it was written. That doesn't mean you can't change things. Like I said before, you can't do perfect one-for-one -one adaptations of certain works. However, canon should matter because it's the core of the story. If you ignore the canon, then you're bound to create something that's unrecognizable to the original work and that defeats the purpose of adapting the story. That doesn't mean it can't be good. A History of Violence and Blade Runner are two excellent films that deviate from the source material, but most deviations don't turn out like that. They come closer to the rings of power, or as they call it in the business, a hot-ass mess. If you want more Tolkien, reread his books. Don't throw out his canon just because you want to see his name in the credits of a show. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.